Hey guys, this is Kamiguno, and today I'm doing a review for Marvel Zombies issue one. And before I start talking about Marvel Zombies, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Kamiguno episode 101, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are their, these exclusive comics. We got Robin Hood Ongoing issue 11, Birthright issue 8, Starve issue... There we go. Starve issue 1. Uh, Midnight Society, The Black Lake, Issue 1. Injustice, Gods Among Us, Year 4, Issue 3. Uh, which is the comic I'm reviewing. Okay. Um, Secret Wars Journal, Issue 1. Copperhead, Issue 8. Savior, Issue 3. Inferno, Issue 2. Batman Superman, Issue 21. Secret Wars 2009-9 issue 1, which I have a, re a review on Comic Frontline 4. The Disciples issue 1. Mrs. Deadpool issue 1, which I also have an in-depth review on Comic Frontline 4. Arrow Season 2.5 issue 9. We Can Never Go Home issue 3. Silver Surfer issue 12. Star Wars Kanan issue 3. And Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps issue 1. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know episode 101, which is annotated. But let's talk about Marvel Zombies issue 1. Uh, so this is a book I was pretty excited about because I've always wanted to get into uh, Blood, uh, Bloodstone's character. Um, she's always been interesting, but I've never really read my, many comics with her. I think maybe one or two, but really I've not seen many Elsa Bloodstone comics out there. Uh, but this is the book based on her. Um, she's the main character of this zombie world, which makes sense because she is a monster hunter. So very cool cover, really like the artwork, and the interior artwork is really good too. Um, really like the artwork here. You get to see different type of monsters too, uh, with a lot of great detail, great coloring, so good artwork. Let's see if I like the story. So with this issue, we, we get to define the world a bit. Um, Elsa is a bit of um, kind of a hard ass. <laughs> she is. She doesn't like for people to get close to her. She's just a monster hunter and she takes pride of that. And we see her past that her father very much Push, uh, pushed her to be a monster hunter, and her father didn't really accept her. So we know the reasons of why she's kind of closed off. Uh, and we, we learned a little bit about the world. There's monsters around, they have to fight them. If they get bit or, you know, you know the drill with monsters, they uh, they turn into monsters. So we could see Stryker turn into a monster here. Uh, and then we have Elsa meet, like, a little kid, and she calls him Shut Up, which gets a bit confusing. It's, like, it's funny for a second, and then gets a bit confusing as you read the issue. Uh, and that's pretty much the whole story. Um... I thought this book had potential. Like, I liked Bloodstone as a character. I thought she was pretty cool. I liked her background. Hopefully we'll learn even more about her. But uh, there are points, like, when they try and make jokes with the whole shut up thing. I'm like, all right, now that his name is shut up, when you say shut up, it's a bit confusing. Uh, I think they could have used quotations or something to make it, make it a little bit easier. So that joke kind of ran a little bit too long in the issue. And I hope the guy gets a name. Um, also, the monsters uh, are not really explained. Uh, it's just them kind of hunting monsters, but you don't really know why and what type of monsters they are. So that's something I hope they can explain as issues go on. But, you know, I think this was an okay setup. Um, I am going to give the next issue a try to see where it goes because the artwork was really well done. But the story could have been a bit better to... Um, really get us into this world. Again, I, I think if you're a Bloodstone character and you know her character, you might enjoy this a bit more, but if you're like me and know we always want to get into her character, but there's not many comics of her, um, this might be a bit of a harder issue to get into. So, Marvel Zombies issue 1, I will pick up the next issue, and I recommend you pick up the issue to kind of give it a try, but it's not a must pick up. So, Marvel Zombies issue 1 gets 3 stars for me. And uh, it's up to you guys if you want to pick it up. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Udo. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father Like Daughter. Don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.